Health policy and systems research has been integral in facilitating major health system improvements in challenging environments all over the world. It's really important to integrate health systems and policy research into crises and incidents when shocks happen to health systems. Otherwise we can't respond to them effectively and we can't build effective systems which are going to be more resilient into the future. When the response to the Ebola epidemic in West Africa began in 2014, HPSR was important in helping national and international partners understand and navigate social and cultural issues that were, in part, causing the response to fail. The Ebola Response Anthropology Platform is an online and face-to-face -face advice service set up to bring long-term social science research and knowledge in real time to inform outbreak responses. The advice we were able to offer helped humanitarian and medical agencies to be more sensitive to community members' own concerns and anxieties, to make their messages and the ways they delivered them fit local contexts better, to deal with resistance in a way that didn't just assume communities to be ignorant, and crucially, it showed that communities were already learning and that actually it was this that was beginning to turn the epidemic around. Um, so agencies then began to support local level behaviour change rather than to ignore it and assume it wasn't happening. In India, a collaboration between national and international organisations carried out health policy and systems research to support and improve the implementation of India's village health committees. VHCs play a vital role within the Indian health system connecting the most marginalized communities to the services they need, as well as monitoring the effectiveness of these services. The Public Health Foundation of India and the National Health Systems Resources Center, where I work, were co-collaborators on this research project. Our task was largely to make sure that the research was embedded within the national guidelines, um, to look at what divergences there would be from the national guidelines, and to make sure, as far as possible, implementation was within the scope of what the national guidelines was meant provision of hand-holding and mentoring to the groups and to the communities went a long way in making them more vibrant and more inclusive of the marginalized. Meetings started to happen more regularly. Uh, committee members felt more empowered to take action on local issues. 